we will explain the procedure for disassembling and assembling the bowl, which is the heart of the Mitsubishi self ejector G-Series. Disconnect the connecting pipes. Your connecting pipes may be different depending on supplier specifications. Remove the plug to release the oil from the piping. Using a hook snapper, remove the cap nuts from the dirty oil inlet, heavy liquid water inlet, and light liquid outlet pipes. Loosen the lower cap nuts, turning all of the piping in a horizontal direction. If the outlet pipe is equipped with a pressure sensor, be careful of the electrical wiring when performing this operation. The inlet pipe is equipped with an orifice for flow measurement. Take care not to lose this device. Loosen and remove the cover nuts using a wrench. Remove the hexagonal nut that retains the inlet pipe. Loosen the socket set screws in the upper hood. Tap the top of the inlet pipe with a plastic hammer to release the contact of the tapered part. Loosen the socket cap screw fastened to the sludge cover, mount the lifting jack onto the thread of the upper hood, and slowly lift the sludge cover using the chain block. This completes disassembly of the sludge cover. To disassemble the bowl, use the following procedure. Loosen the disc nuts using the disc nut handle. Remove the disc nuts. Remove the heavy liquid chamber, followed by the heavy liquid impeller, Teflon packing, and gravity disc. At this point, you may wish to replace the gravity disc. Remove the light liquid chamber using the light liquid chamber handle. When the light liquid impeller and inlet pipe are removed, disassembly of the top of the bowl is complete. Remove the bowl. First, insert the cap nut spanner in the bowl and screw the release bolts into the threads on the heads of the cap nuts. Next, loosen and remove the cap nuts using the cap nut spanner. Mount the bowl lifting jack onto the guide tubes on the thread. Tighten the bowl lifting jack. 
the bowl will separate from the vertical shaft and float up. The reason for releasing and disassembling the bowl is to prevent the application of excessive force on the bearings of fast rotating equipment. If the bowl does not float up when the bowl lifting jack is tightened, set the pipe in the handle and tighten it. This jacking effect causes the bowl to float up. After the bowl floats up, slowly lift it up to remove it from the self-jector. After removing the bowl from the self-jector, Place it on the disassembly stand. Be sure to align the four pins on the disassembly stand with the grooves on the bottom of the bowl. After setting the bowl, remove the bowl lifting jack and set the disc clamp plate. Screw the push bolts of the disc clamp plate into the guide tubes and firmly tighten the hexagonal nuts with the hammer, like this. This procedure is important. Its purpose is to dampen the springing effect in the disc mounted on the bowl to protect the thread of the bowl nuts and make it easier to release the bowl nut. After fastening the bowl nut handle to the bowl nut using the socket cap screw, tap it with the hammer to remove it. Remove the bowl nut. Remove the disc clamp plate. Set the patch on the distributor, then set the push bolt, handle, bowl head jack and disc nut. Gradually tighten the handle to remove the bowl head. The bottom of the bowl head is fitted with a main seal ring. Be careful not to damage the seal. Mount the bowl lifting jack on the guide tube and remove the distributor with the top disc and discs still mounted. Remove the bowl lifting jack and remove the top disc and discs from the distributor.
Do not use metal or sandpaper to clean the removed discs. Scratches on the surface can cause sludge to accumulate on the surface more quickly. Instead, soak the discs in plenty of cleaning oil or detergent. When the sludge has softened, clean with a soft utensil such as a bamboo or plastic spatula or sponge. Remove the main cylinder. Set the push bolt and handle onto the bowl head jack. Set the patch onto the mounting sections of the cap nut on the bowl body and fasten the main cylinder onto the bowl head jack using the four socket cap screw. The main cylinder can be easily removed by screwing it in while loosening the push bolt handle. This simultaneous loosening and tightening makes it easy to remove the main cylinder in the vertical position. Take care not to damage the main cylinder sheets and sliding parts when handling them. The process described so far is the routine disassembly process. However, if the main cylinder does not open and close correctly, you will need to inspect and clean the pilot valves at this point. This is the procedure for disassembling the pilot valves. First, we will describe how to remove the two pilot valves from the sides of the bowl body. Remove the valve nut using a hexagonal wrench. Screw the valve jack bolts into the pilot valves and gradually tighten the butterfly nuts to release the pilot valves. Take care not to damage the nylon valve sheets mounted on the valve guides or the sheets on the pilot valves. After removing the valve jacks, remove the pilot valves and valve sheets from the valve guides. Inspect each O-ring for hardening and damage. Clean and, if necessary, replace the O-rings. When removing the O-rings from the valve guides, take care not to damage the inner surfaces. When cleaning the insertion parts of the pilot valves, do not use metal utensils or rough sandpaper to clean these parts. Take care not to damage the inner surfaces of the O-rings. Such damage can cause the seals of the O-rings to deteriorate, obstructing the opening and closing of the valves. Be sure to clean using a soft cloth. This is the procedure for cleaning the main seal ring. Heat the tip of the packing remover and melt off the packing like this. Take care not to damage the main seal ring grooves. Before mounting the main seal ring, clean the grooves thoroughly. Align the main seal ring with the grooves and gently insert it into the grooves. Use a wooden panel or the like to ensure that the main seal ring is fully driven in and mounted.
Do not strike the main seal ring directly with a plastic hammer or the like, as this can damage the main seal ring, causing a defective seal. This completes the mounting of the main seal ring. Disassembly of the bowl is now complete, except for the drain nozzles.